nice shot from Guptill. 41 balls and only two runs before that since getting to 50. Yeah, he showed some good patience. Did Martin Guptill prepared to just watch Narayan carefully, wait for the bad ball, and that was. It was short and just wide of off stump. It was only a punch. But nicely timed. And again, that was a poor delivery. Went quick in the Ryan on that occasion, and Guptill just the same shot. Nine from the over, 144 for two. Nicely played. Short and wide, and cut away for four. 150 up, 150 for two. Short and punished. Martin Guptill has played this role here very well. Very selective test match batting. Generally the way test match batting should be. You've got some guys who score quicker than others. Oh, that has gone past. Marlon Samuels to his left. I wonder if it went past in the air. It certainly looked like it was close. I'm not sure about the effort from Marlon Samuels. That wasn't a big dive. Sort of a half an attempt. I, I think he could have done better. So does Darren Sammy. Samuels over. Three overs, none for seven. 159 for two. And that'll be T. reckons it might have hit boot first Sammy is asking what he thinks and he's gonna check yeah, that is gonna be the big thing Jeffrey whether it's hit I thought it there was some interplay with the bat whether it's after it's hit the boot in the fielding team's mind no problem with the legality of the delivery oh that's dead that is dead yeah hit him hit him on the full right on that toe and would have gone crashing into the lumber yard got that wrong and it stayed with the on-field call because of impact not necessarily because of whether it's going on to hit the stumps lovely lovely flowing drive from Ross Taylor 166 for two uh, that was wide no square cover forward to Ross Taylor had to go a fair distance for it 171 for two He's pulled away through mid wicket should be cut off oh well now you want some help from your uh, field at Kimar Roach on that occasion and that is a lazy effort brings up the 50 partnership between Ross Taylor and Martin Guptill. 
yes, it wasn't a particularly good delivery, but at the same time, you, you, you want your feelers to at least back you up. Oh, this time through the offside. Not perfectly timed, but it'll be good enough to reach the boundary for four. Ten runs from the over, it's 190 for two. gone to the boundary Chris Gale couldn't quite catch up with it he's gone up to visit the Beige Brigade boys couple of high fives and away he goes oh they love that that'll be something to tell the grandkids about the New Zealand supporters are probably saying to Gale well done for forgiving up that boundary Chris Gale not very quick in the field really labored after that I wonder if he's thinking about the Olympics. Yes! Oh, yes! 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 Another wicket for Narayan. You could argue it's a little bit fortuitous, but it's come through a build-up of pressure for a much better spell. Fully deserved. It was not the right option from Ross Taylor. He'd actually gone further back and really tried to pull these ones harder on previous occasions. This was just a little paddle in no man's land. And it was a paddle, came off his hip, off the gloves, and back onto the stumps. So yes, a little bit of luck, but fully deserved. It's been a very good spell from Sonal Narayan, and the New Zealand skipper goes for 45. New Zealand now 223 for three. Oh, that is disappointing. That is disappointing if it's taken. And it is taken. Another wicket for Narayan, but that's when I said, if Guptil can finish the job today, he can't. He's gutted. He's disappointed. He's been asked to stay just to check the no ball, but I tell you what, he should stay there and he shouldn't go back towards the changing room because they will not want to see Martin Guptil at the end of this. That is a very disappointing end to what has been a good day. He's distraught Martin Guptill. It's his own issue. I thought he'd been asked to stay. That's why he was crouched down in the middle. Perhaps he just didn't want to go. He's just so disappointed in what he's done. He's just trying to console himself a little bit before he walks off. But he is out. Caught Diona Ryan, bold Narayan. For 97. Just looking to go over the onside and did not get it at all. Straight up in the air. New Zealand lose their fourth wicket at 228. First day is complete in this first test here at the East Vivian Richards Stadium, having won the toss. New Zealand have finished on 232 for four. Aaron Sammy will be a little bit more relieved at the end of the day than it was maybe half an hour ago. Right through him. Good one first up. Pitched well up. You could see just that drift back into the batsman. Didn't pass that off stump by very much, did it? Well bowled again, early success. Sunil Narayan is the man posing to be the greatest threat now for New Zealand. Well, 
bounce and turn. Just too much for Neil Wagner. Played back. And bounced a lot more than he expected. Sharp catch by Darren Sammy. And Narayan picks up his fourth. Right watchman Neil Wagner goes for four. It's 233 for five. And he's responded well to a rare short ball. Picks up the length very early. Just rocks back and hammers it through square leg. Hit it a little earlier than I expected and it's gone through mid wicket. Big turn and bounce. Has it touched anything on the way through? We'll find out momentarily. They should come back for three. Buys, in fact, so it's touched nothing on the way through. All vital runs for New Zealand. First runs off the seamers from this end, a couple. Runs for Brownlee. It's been a barren period for him. He'll get his first boundary and quadruple score. He yeah, was onto it very quickly. It's a short delivery, a poor one from the Ryan. One that he looked to go away from the right hander. And Brownlee very quickly onto it. Buys just the one of them. Another boundary. Fourth of the morning, two fifty four for five. Runs more runs. It probably won't get to the boundary nice aggressive running brings three runs isn't that a rare thing to say given all the one day cricket we had in St. Kitts recently they ran three well, one thing you don't want to do to Dean Brownlee is bowl short played all his junior cricket grew up in Perth you do not want to bowl short to him just loves it whether it be the cut the pull the hook anything he will be onto it in a heartbeat yeah it's interesting that Simon uh, I, I saw Brownlee against Australia when New Zealand were in Australia he made a half century in tough conditions and looked a good player good enough player anyway but New Zealand have their fill now it's not just England that we smirk at now you've got a few South African names in there you've got the other Australian is that becoming more and more of a trend well it's it's one of the greatest places in the world to live fish so really? it's no surprise <laughs> that people want to go there <laughs> and, and, and live there and, and just make it their home yeah. more runs this isn't good stuff from Sammy, he hasn't really built the pressure that was set before. And Narayan now might want to have another look at this. Narayan's feeling really isn't anywhere near satisfactory, to be honest. It's something he has to work on. Well, he's 24 years old. He's he's moving around the field like he's 34. Too wide giving uh, Brownlee the opportunity to slash away. Simon Dool was talking about it earlier, but in the earlier spell from 
Roach. He just seemed to be ambling in, didn't really seem to be really getting into his work, and that was a, another loosener. Very, very short and wide delivery. And with a hard ball, bounced a bit. And of course, that is exactly what you don't want to do. Oh, okay. That's better. That's a lot better. Tucking up the batsman. Awkward bounce. That is where Kima Watch needs to bowl a little more consistently. And he needs to be a bit more aggressive. I find that both Ram Paul and Kima Roach, they're not aggressive enough. They tend to just put the ball in a spot, put it in the right areas. Nothing is wrong with that, but you've got to be aggressive. Is that aggression about personality as well? Do you have to be snarling and staring at the batsman and um, really getting that message across to him that he, you mean business? This is, this is hard cricket. That's exactly what it is. And when we talk about being aggressive, I just want to point out that being aggressive doesn't mean bowling a lot of short deliveries. Because once you tell a bowler, be aggressive, they think it's all bouncers. But that's not it. It's more to that than just bowling short balls. That might have taken the glove, but going well wide of Ramdin. It's caught in two minds. So bye is given. More buys conceded. <laughs> Miscued. Little luck there for Williamson. Had a few boundaries with the pull shot to Sunil Narayan earlier on. But with the extra pace and with the second new ball, was a bit cramped. Gets the edge, but goes away for four. No luck there for Rampol and frustration for the West Indies, ending uh, the over at 273 for five. Played on. Breakthrough has come. And uh, another lazy shot from uh, Kane Williamson. It looks like he wasn't even quite prepared to face that delivery. They're also checking, and this is no surprise, to see if it was a legal delivery from Roach. Uh, the umpire just want to ensure, because he's had this problem. Let's see what happens now. Well, he seems to have got in just a little bit behind the line. It's always at uh, the first point of contact that there is something behind the line, and it does appear that there was something behind the line there. And there we've got uh, the confirmation. And uh, Kane Williamson will have to go. It was a very good delivery by Kima Roach. Came back in, got the inside edge. And Williamson looked a little bit lazy on the stroke play. And he has to go. Bold Kima Roach for 19. Loved it, has he down the leg side? They're celebrating, but nothing from the umpire. They don't have any reviews left. That was a confident appeal. Short delivery down the leg side, missed it by a mile. And it doesn't matter how confident you appeal, Fazir. We all know that that man standing there is the key man. And he judged it correctly and perfectly. Good lifter. Again, it falls safe. 
He's going to be peppered. And rightly so. I thought that was very good bowling by Kima Roach. Pitched the shot at the body. And of course, Van Vicht didn't know what was happening. He really took his eye off the ball. Miscued pull, and uh, it will drop short off in Narain. Seemed to be a bit of misunderstanding there because Narain didn't really sprint in. Van Beek unsettled by this short pitch bowling, trying to release the pressure with the pull shot, never had it under control. Almost off the toe of the bat, and Narain really wasn't sprinting in. Narayan probably thought that it wasn't, was going to get to him down at the fine leg boundary. Well, I don't know what he's done there. It's another good bounce. Van <laughs> Vake went to leave it. He ended up flat on his backside on the ground. Just caught in between the devil and the deep blue sea. <laughs> You don't see that too often. Just too short. And that's given the treatment. That should go all the way. Not sure what his plan is, but it's not working. And it doesn't look like a sensible one to me. Yeah, I mentioned earlier with Ian Bishop that there's places to bowl to Dean Brownlee, and Short's not one of them. Originally from Perth, if my memory serves me correctly. That's better. Get it up there. Make him come forward. And Rampol has picked up the wicket. Finally, Jeff Dujon has mentioned he's been too short. And he's got one right in the spot. And Brownlee has succumbed. Yes, it was looking promising. And this one. No foot movement, really, from Brownlee. Didn't get across to the line, just played at it. But brought on the front foot, outside edge found. And he goes for 23. It's 281 for seven. That's an edge. Didn't carry. He's very deep. Little edge, perhaps onto the hip. Just did not carry far enough. one fair amount of looked as if it, it got some glove and just back on his heels was footed in come on gets that one away and he'll get himself four in the air and it might be over top of the man it is just and the pull shot last ball before lunch false stroke from Vittori but uh, he gets away with it runs uh, immediately and maybe four Good start for the Black Caps. That's an even better sweep shot. Real authority in that stroke. And there he goes again. Four more. Three fours in the over. And uh, there we see how comfortable he is bringing up the 300 as well to that short ball. 303 for seven. Another sweep shot, another boundary. 
He's rattling the rain and the West Indies. Miscued. Should be a simple catch. And it is. So Sammy has confounded us all. Well, I don't think it was short enough to play the shot for Daniel Vittori. But he has paid the price. No, it wasn't quite short enough. Didn't get up. And a very simple catch. Dion Ryan again. It's another catch for him this innings. Vittori goes for 17. It's 308 for 8. Appeal, he's got five. No hesitation, he walks away immediately. Had all the luck against the faster bowlers, and now Sunil Narayan has made him his fifth test wicket of the innings. Well bowled, Sunil Narayan, inside edge, onto the pad, and footed in doing the rest. Pretty easy clean up job for him. But, uh, nicely flighted. And then a big inside edge onto the pads. And Sunil Ryan has a five wicket bag. Very well bowled. Kruger van Veit goes for 11. It's 309 for nine. He's gone over the top. And that's a good hit. Pitched up and off uh, the middle of the bat as well. Good shout, and uh, wonder if they're going to want to have this reviewed. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I thought it might have turned too much, this one. Bracewell might get one in his favour. It'd just be clipping leg, but it's worth the review. He's the last man. It's worth having a look at. It did turn quite a bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, I tell you what, this is touch and go. Touch and go. Missing leg, I think. Yeah, good, good decision, Doug Bracewell. Well done. West Indies are walking off. They're going to have to come back on because this is not out. He's gone straight again. Another good hit. Will get the boundary. But it means that Chris Martin will be on strike at the start of the next over. Four runs, nevertheless. 318 for nine. There he goes with the big hit. And that's a really massive one. He really got that one out of the screws. And they're playing his shots. That's an impressive pull shot by Bracewell. Sammy at his friendly place. Really taking a beating as well. That is a lovely shot. Sweet shot indeed. He's hit it again. And I think it's a lesson with one ball to go that could prove to be an expensive one if Sammy doesn't get a wicket of the last ball. That's another good strike from Bracewell. What's it gone for? Four or six, the umpires will have a look. Hit that into the wind too, so that is, a, even if it doesn't go for six, it's a pretty strong hit. Yep, it's gone for six. That is a good hit. That's high in the air. Chandapal is trying to get underneath it. And Chandapal takes it. So the first ball from Rampal brings the reward. That's a good catch from Chandapal. It was a steepler. And running back is never an easy way to take a catch, but he did it well. Experienced. 